is really trying to kill me, you know. Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be doing the Chloe Ting 15 day intense core challenge. I've been wanting to try her challenges for a while now, but I just didn't know if I wanted to. Now I do work out regularly to be honest the big issue with me is my eating so i feel like getting on board onto this program and doing a video for you guys is really going to motivate me to you know do this properly and control my eating and just cut out all of the sugar because i eat a lot of sugar okay i've got the biggest sweet tooth of life and it's just been such a pain <laughs> if only i could eat as much as i want and not gain weight i've been being careful of what i eat now I'm counting calories, but I'm going to still treat myself. It's important to find that balance because if you can't eat things you like, then what is the point, you know? So it's just having things you like, but in moderation. Obviously, I don't know that rule. I just eat the whole pack in one go. Before I jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to Océane Moulari. So thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button and pressing the bell button as well. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so. One thing I really do appreciate about these workout programs is that they are free. And you do have a lot of programs that you actually have to pay for. I've done, I've paid for the Alexandra Louise program, which... I kind of like but I kind of drifted away from it. I know people have been getting good results from it, but I'm going to try this one because it's free. It's two weeks. Um, whilst the Alexandra Louise one is a 90 day shred, um, it focuses on your core, abs and full body. So a bit of everything really. Now I do want to mention that I'm going to be following these videos, but also doing some weightlifting on the side and maybe some cardio. I like to mix it up. And I do want, I do kind of aim for like 45 minutes to an hour of workout a day. And obviously I have one or two days off in the week. I'm so gutted because yesterday I did like a quick 20 minute workout and there was a lot of squat jumping and I had really bad form and I think I've kind of sprained my lower back and it hurts like hell. I slept so badly, but I did a little bit of stretching just now and I feel a bit better. My legs hurt like hell. So I'm not going to be at my strongest today. If I feel like I'm pushing myself too much, I'm going to hold back. You really need to listen to your body. For day one, you have... I love the structure of this plan, honestly. Like, you have optional videos that you can follow and the main ones. So I'm going to follow... I'm going to try and do the two main ones. Yes, I have been on my weight loss journey for years now. I kind of fluctuated and I put on five kilos um, during lockdown. So before lockdown, I was around 62 kilos at my lowest. And now I've gone up to 66. And it's disappointing, but I'm not going to lie. I've been eating a lot. I've been making loads of cakes. And it's just life. It happens. And all you can do is just pick yourself back up. And again, put yourself in that path of just eating stuff you like, but in moderation. Obviously, I was just going all out. I'm like, I'm not going on holiday this year, so I just might as well just stuff my face with food. But yeah, like I said, I did put on some weight and I just want to lose that weight, but also just get a bit stronger, feel healthier. I've been feeling really sluggish, but mainly just be toned, especially my arms. I would love to have like toned arms right now. It's just flubber. Um, so yeah, it's just getting toned and feeling stronger as well. So... Um, as you can see, a lot of my weight goes to my belly. It's so weird, but it's just always been like that. And it also goes to my arms and my face. But this time around, it's more my belly. I've measured my whole body and I've noted them down so that we can see if anything has changed by the end of this two week challenge. Now, I'm not going to expect to get full on abs. We have to be realistic, but I am. I'd be really happy if I've lost some weight and, you know, gain more muscle and just feel overall stronger and I would like to see that my form after the two weeks will be better because to be honest my form at the moment is just terrible <laughs> so right now I'm just going to check I'm starting this program and I'm at 66.05 kilos and my height is 1 meter 66 my body fat apparently this is just rough like I don't think this is very accurate but it's good to have like a rough idea but apparently my body fat is 20% and my BMI is 24 which is normal my metabolic age is 26 when I'm actually 25 so we gotta solve that okay but it's cool to see all these all this stuff my body water is 54.9% that's just a bit of background on everything and I'm really excited to see the results
I sweating? Yes. How long was that? So that was 15 minutes and the third set was actually not bad. It was the first two that got to me. An 11 minute tight core plank challenge. What am I gonna do next? I'm just gonna take a breather for a bit. <laughs> Sweaty. Sweaty top, yes, we all want that. So yeah, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Wish me luck. drenched but this makes me so happy it's like i'm actually working myself out to the fullest i still find the tight core workout really hard all right guys it's now day five and for day five it's actually an active rest day um and i've actually been quite active i went to tesco and walked a bit but just to add a little bit more i'm gonna do like a stretching kind of video like i'm gonna find one on youtube chest and your hips. I ignore the way I look but I was actually watching a video last night of Chloe Ting um, reacting to someone else's like transformation video after following her program and I saw her make the sweet potato egg cup things so I'm gonna try that today I'm so excited because it looks so so yummy so yeah wish me luck guys. So I've only managed to make six I put in the baked sweet potato that I've cut into thin slices um, cooked spinach and some cheese and I'm finally going to add some eggs and I also marinated my sweet potato with like paprika and cayenne pepper I had my lunch not long ago and to be honest the sweet potato egg cults were really really nice it's really simple and um, nutritious and low in cal calorie I had three and I actually did some painting I helped paint oh my god painting the ceiling is like the worst thing ever oh my god actually some good exercise at the same time but now I'm gonna do um, today's workout I have to do it in the garden because obviously it's clearly a massive mess I think we need to wait till tomorrow and do maybe a last layer
actually got through four videos today. So I did the best full body burn, which is 14 minutes, abs and full body, which I think is 20, tight core plank challenge, and the legs and glutes video. And I feel so, I feel like I could just lay down and sleep. Now the tight core plunge, tight core plank challenge is by far the hardest for me. I still haven't got through the up and down plank star jump thing at the end, like that is insane. I left that one till last and I was so tired so it was really hard for me to get through it. So I would say I got through 80% of it, which is not bad, but still like I would, I still, I can feel myself getting stronger, but I would love to like get through the whole video. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna have a nice cold watermelon. I'm satisfied. Guys, it's day 15, so wish me luck. so we finally come to an end of this challenge oh my god i'm not gonna say it was easy but i'm just gonna talk you through the pros and cons and we're gonna go through the before and after so let's just jump straight into the before and after um i don't think there's much of a difference i feel it i see slight differences when i look at my body in the mirror um i the biggest thing i would say is that i feel way stronger i'm not used to doing a workout mostly every day whilst this i feel like is back to back to back and i think you do have a rest day every now and then, but it's more like you still have to be active. And even on my um, active rest days, I was doing an uphill walk on a treadmill. I was um, doing, I was like doing bands on my legs. I was just doing something. But like I said, I can see a slight difference, um, especially on my belly area and my arms, which I'm really, really pleased about. I'm so happy. Like even my family have noticed slight differences. Like there's li the the eleven lines are coming on my on my belly, but I feel like I still need to go. F I'm still on my weight loss journey because there's still I can feel my abs. There's they're definitely there, but there's still quite uh, there's a bit of a layer of fat on them. So I still have to work harder and do a little bit of cardio still to kind of diminish that. But guys, I've been so shocked by the results. I actually bought a, a body fat composition scale, which to be honest, I just wanted to say that they're not accurate. Like they're, it's just there to give you a rough guide of what's going on. I feel like in the longer term, it's good to look at it, but in the short term, it's not that great. And I also measured each part of my body, which I've never done before. And I've been on my weight loss journey for years now. I started off at 66.5 kilos and now I'm at 65.8 kilos. So in total, I lost 700 grams, which to be honest, is not that much. It's not bad for a two week span, but my weight kept fluctuating. My weight is really at a plateau stage. Before I went to Turkey, I was at 62 kilos and I felt amazing when I was at that weight, but was I as toned and strong as I am now? I mean, I'm getting muscle lines, like, like, can you see that? I mean, there's still some fat here, but I feel so strong. There's like literally shoulder muscles coming out and i just want to continue with these workouts and all my other weightlifting stuff i really want to push myself more in weightlifting so that i can just feel stronger and feel more toned and during that my body fat will automatically go down as i build more muscle my body fat started at 20.1 and now is at 20 but that's a rough estimate but the thing that shocked me the most is when i look at the trends of my measurements i lost 
I lost one centimeter around my shoulders, the circumference of my shoulders. My chest area went a bit big, which is weird, but okay. It went from 92 centimeters to 94. So my left bicep went down to 30.5. My right bicep was actually smaller, which is so weird, but went up to 30.5. So they're both the same now. My waist, which is what I'm most shocked about, I lost 2.5 centimeters around my my waist that is insane in two weeks my hips i lost one centimeter i'm really pleased with the results overall i feel really really strong um than i was before i'm seeing lines and muscles everywhere my legs my quads my my shoulders i see some progress on my um around my belly and one thing i really noticed is that lower belly pocket fat that we all have like that little lower pouch that has gone down so much like i can literally feel it now do i have a bit of a belly left yeah i feel like we all do i feel like if i stay consistent with these workouts i'll definitely see a massive difference in my body and especially combined with the weightlifting. um now i'm not going to say throughout this workout i'm i kept a strict diet because i didn't throughout the week i'm yes i'm very healthy i i try to count my calories but I, I'm not afraid to treat myself every now and then and go over my calorie uh, intake that I should be having for a weight loss because at the end of the day, I'm, I, I don't feel that bad in my body right now and I don't want to lose that much weight. What I, I think, what I feel like I want to do is change my body fat into muscle and just be overall more toned and just feel really strong. And I really want to go down the path of intuitive in eating because when I was, before I went to Turkey on holiday and before I had my wedding, I was eating chicken salad every day like I'm not gonna lie it was a strict diet I was not eating any crap whatsoever and I lost a lot like 61 62 was my lowest and yes I felt skinnier like I could see my arms and my face especially but I don't really want to go through that again because I don't think I need to I just feel like I need to work out harder push myself harder in my workouts do more weightlifting so I can transform that fat into muscle and yeah I'm just definitely really more into intuitive um, eating because I feel like at this moment in time a strict diet is just not for me and I just won't be ha happy enough like your girl loves food too much guys I love food so when you when I start in the beginning I'm not gonna lie the workouts was so hard as time went along you definitely do get stronger you can get through the workouts way easier um, I'm not gonna lie even till today the workouts are still hard um, I feel like the full body ones I can get through I mean my worst one is the plank tight core plank challenge oh my god that's like my enemy Chloe is really trying to kill me you know but can I get through it easier yes I can I feel stronger but I still need to take breaks in between sometimes I need to do the low impact version I like that the fact that this challenge actually pushes you to be more consistent because you know what to follow you know the videos are there for you the schedule's there for you you just need to follow it so I just feel like it helps you to be more consistent not to forget the program is free and that is an added bonus of course you can see that a lot of time goes into these videos the uh, stages that you see in the top right corner the timing the music the advice she gives throughout the videos I just really really like her workout videos and I appreciate this uh, the small rests in between because not all workout videos have the rests in between and I'm not gonna lie it makes it really hard to get through the whole workout whilst here you can see there's a nice balance throughout the video it goes to from a high impact for a bit then to a low impact then to a high like it's fluctuated so that you're not constantly killing yourself for like 20 minutes straight right the only thing i would say is that throughout the two weeks it was a little bit repetitive because you're following mostly the same videos but then again you're trying to get stronger and it's good to see your progress by the end of it because as you follow these videos you can see you can get through them easier and once you can you can either do more of them or move on to like different other videos that she has on her channel so I don't know it's not that much of a negative I didn't mind I love that I could um, fam familiarize myself with the moves just um, perfect my form throughout which I think I got better at because oh my god I looked at my previous workout video and my plank was awful it was more of a mountain it was not a plank okay so overall I definitely recommend the program um, I've seen results I, I like the quality of the videos and the workouts and I love Chloe Ting, she's the sweetest. I always watch like her food videos and her reaction videos, they're so cool. Will I continue to follow her videos? Definitely. 
and I just appreciate that it's free at the same time. So yeah, if you're definitely looking for like a program to start and you don't want to spend some coin, I definitely recommend this. I've seen some results myself. So yeah, if you have any questions, guys, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you do want to see more of my like my progress of like health and fitness and all of that, let me know in the comments below because I'd be happy to do that. I'm still on my you know, weight loss, getting stronger journey. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.